My guy just messed up his haircut so bad. I had to revive him really quick. You guys see the after. On this episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to fix somebody's hair if they do mess up. This happened about two and a half, three weeks ago. I recorded this content and this happened before all this quarantine stuff. My man wanted to give himself a self cut, but he ended up messing up. So we're gonna go ahead and fix his haircut really quick. To start off the haircut guys, we're gonna set our first guideline with our Babyless Gold FX Skeleton Trimmers. They are zero gapped and we're gonna start from where he made his own guideline. So the guidelines, I usually make them about a finger thick. You guys can see that the guideline is a little thicker than that. So I went ahead and uh, went with my trimmer and I made it smaller. I had to go higher with the fade. So then we can go to the next step and we can bald everything out with the nice soft touch and just flick out towards that line that you guys see there. He did go higher on the sides, which did affect the fade, but we're still gonna make it work, guys. So after that step, guys, we're gonna go ahead and grab our three guard and we're gonna start flicking it out. This is just gonna set the foundation of your fade because the less hair that you have on the sides, the better it is, the more smoother you're gonna be able to set your guidelines on the next couple of steps. So after we go with the three, we're gonna add the two guard right there with the lever open. That means the lever's open right there. When you open the lever, all it means is that it's just pushing those two blades that you see on your machine, it's pushing them apart. And when you close them, it just joins them together. So that's why whenever I say opened or closed, it just means that we're either transitioning from a half or to a zero for the machine. So right here, we have a two guard with it open, then we close it right away. So we just went from a two and a half to a two. So whenever you guys are blending and fading your guidelines in, it's all a matter of how you play things out with your lever, how your lever playing. So this next step here is just to help you guys blend out that zero line. I know a lot of you guys struggle with this because I did struggle with it in the beginning. So make sure you guys have another pair of trimmers if you guys do. That's not zero gap. This is a soft pair of trimmers and baby tap that zero line to make it easier for your transitioning. So then we can go ahead and add our one guard and create another guideline. Like I told you guys, it's a one guard with the lever open and it's going to be around one finger thick. A one guard with the lever open equals a one and a half. So we're setting a, that guideline in a measures of one and a half. So after we have these two guidelines set, it's going to create the foundation of our fade. So then we can go ahead and start actually fading now. So if you guys can even do these steps right here without even doing anything, you guys are already ahead of the game. So you guys just as long as you guys have the foundation, you guys are going to be able to fade more effectively because your, your guidelines are consistent. Now that we have our foundation set, it's time to start fading. Our lever's open right there. We're gonna put it straight in the middle, in the, in, in the middle between closed and open. You guys see right there, I demonstrated really quick. And then we're gonna hit that guideline that you guys see that, that I pointed out with the finger. And then we're gonna hit it in the middle. We're not gonna go higher than the middle part of that guideline. You guys cannot go higher or else it's gonna mess up your fade. You guys can stay lower than the middle part, but you guys can't go higher. So just maintain that consistent flow in that guideline and just hit it in the middle and just go across the whole head and make sure it's consistent. So then we can continue our lever method. On this first guideline, we're just gonna stay middle and then we're gonna open up the lever a little bit, open it up a little bit until it's fully open. As we open, we keep going a little bit higher into that guideline. In the last step of our lever method, we're gonna close it and then we're gonna hit the beginning of the guideline, baby tap it, that's all you guys gotta do. And then your guideline will be fully erased so we can go ahead and fade the other guideline that we have on top that we set with the one guard with the lever open. So now that our guideline is fully erased, we don't have to worry about that anymore. We're gonna close the lever as you guys see there with the one guard. And this is not gonna fully erase this guideline that you guys see that we set with the one guard with the lever open. We're gonna just baby tap the beginning of the line and we're gonna soften it up with the one guard. We're gonna do the same thing that we did on the previous guideline, but now we're just gonna start with it closed and we're gonna go a little bit higher as we keep opening the lever. So just keep doing this step and the next step, we're gonna erase it by putting on our 0.5 blending guard. 
So this is an extra detailing step that you guys can take. This is similar to what we did with the soft pair of trimmers in the beginning. Now I'm taking a soft pair of clippers that are not zero gapped and I'm opening up the lever and I'm just kind of just baby tapping that line so it can be easier for me to blend it out when I use my 0.5 blending guard on the next step. We're going to do the close to open method. We're going to start with our lever close that you guys see there. That means it's at a sharpest form. We're going to start at the beginning of the guideline and keep opening it little by little as we go higher into the fade. So we're going to start with the closed and then we're going to open it. We do have a little bit of room to work with. You know, because like I said, I wanted to keep it as dark as I, I could because he did take it higher on this side. So I just wanted to make it work and I'm going with the corners of my clippers. You know, the hair on the sides is growing towards the back of his head. So I'm angling my blade, the corners of my clippers to kind of hit it against the grain. This is just a rough draft of our work. We're gonna go back and detail our work even further, but for now we're gonna put on a 1.5 guard and close the lever, and we're gonna go close to open. You know, we're gonna just open up the lever as we go higher into the fade, but one key thing is that you guys wanna scoop up with your wrist, because that's gonna guarantee that your guards and your machines are doing the best work possible, so you guys won't have to go back and detail your work that much. So this next step here, I'm just gonna put my shears in a vertical position and use only one of the gaps of the comb. And I'm just aiming and using my eyes and just looking for those dark spots that you guys see there on the camera. A lot of the times that when we're cutting hair, we really don't, we really can't see because our eyes are so focused for a long time. So sometimes it helps if you just look at something else, like look at your phone or, or look at something that's white and then just go back into your fade and just start detailing your work. You know, it does help a lot of the times when I see my work on camera, I'm like, damn, I could have, I could have, you know, detailed this spot. I could have done this spot. So sometimes it even helps if you go on your phone and you take a picture and you look for those dark spots so that you can go back and correct your work. So you're going to see me here go from shears to blending shears. The difference between those two is the, sh the, the blending shears, it just cuts weight down. You know, so it's better for denser areas that have more hair, like towards the back of his head. He has way more hair in the back and it's just a lot thicker. So the whole goal was just to blend the three guard that we use in the beginning into the longer portion of the hair that he has on top. So then we're gonna go ahead and line up the sides really quick. You know, he wanted just to line up the sides to make it look crispier. He didn't want a front lineup. So for the beard, I'm just gonna clean it up really quick. I'm just gonna do a little freehand action. I'm gonna open up the lever and freehand it. And then once I get closer to the sideburn area, I'm just gonna fade it out with the close to open method. here got super lucky that he didn't go as high we could still work around it but that was the end result guys if you guys ever want to fix your hair or fix somebody else's hair those are the steps that you should go by build a foundation set your guidelines blend each guideline step by step using the lever methods and that's it guys i appreciate you guys for tuning in sub to the channel hit a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the content peace